It's Sunday. Why are you yelling? I got a lot to yell about. My bat, my bike hurts. My toe, my big toe hurts. As long as your heart don't hurt, Steve. I'll leave the heart hurt, hurting to you. <laughs> my heart's okay. Yeah? I don't know. I guess. You look tired today. It's, yeah, it's been a long few days. I am tired today. I always think I get, sometimes when I think I get good sleep, I'm just like, I'm still tired. I'm like, I didn't get good sleep, did I? I'll, get, I'll wake up at like eight after going to bed at like midnight. I'm like, they tell me to get eight hours and I get eight That's hours. That's what I said, the same shit. I'm just like, more, <laughs> yeah. more. Sometimes I feel better after three hours. Like, That's exactly know. what I say. That's why I'm like, I have to stay up. Heather wants to go to bed at 10. I'm like, no, I have to stay up. I'm just tired from life, I think. Yeah. Well, thing in particular. Wednesday, I, you caught, I caught a huge L. Yeah. That was on, that, I mean, not on my hands, on my fucking brain. That was a day that I like barely slept. So by the time yeah. it was whenever you were about to come, I... I had a monster fucking headache. You know how I know you just know nothing about, like, time? Like, you texted, like, I told you I'd get to your apartment probably, like, 4.30. And then, um, hey, what's up, man? And then, uh. Hey, what's up, man? It's the most, like, suspect intro I've ever heard. He looks a little suspect with that hair gelled up. Probably hot. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Go take a shower. Is it raining? Actually? You look like the poor man's Wolverine. (laughs) <laughs> a little bit go but like i told you i was gonna get to your apartment at like 4 30 i think and then you text me at like 3 57 you're like you leave yet no, like, no yeah no, motherfucker no, 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 no. <laughs> it was definitely like still borderline around the time when you would have left or not I no think. i left at 258 a 258 yeah to get to me by 4 30 takes you that long i get to you around like 350 to pen and then i Take the train, the subway to you, so I get... And then the like, subway's like six minutes from Penn. Yeah. Therefore, I would assume it would take one hour, so me texting you at 3.30 for you to say you're going to no, get you're here at 4.30. No, you're texting me at 3.57. Math 357. Adds, the math adds up. You text me at like 3.50. I'm not going to go back in yeah. the middle of this. But it's not like I'm going to go and edit it, but when and you, I can't take that time <laughs> away from the timeline, but, but when you if text, I could, though... When you texted me, fucked. the guy goes, and we, we're just arriving at Penn, New York Penn Station. I was like, oh. Yeah. But you know what? You it have to... My it, that It caught up to me. I usually don't get like... I don't know. But you have to say no. You have to learn how to say no. If your what? body's telling you no, because you were going to let me come. Say no to content. Well, I felt bad for, I would have felt like a dick. Like but, I may, like you come here and you go out of your way to come and then I'm like, oh, you're already on your way, but you have to turn around and go home. Yeah, but it sucks, but like it's granted. Because if we did that on it's, Wednesday. It's granted. Yeah, if we did it on Wednesday, it'd be horrible. Hor- a, it would have been horrible. B, I probably would have been pissed because it was horrible. And then it would, probably, it would just suck. That's fair. So you just said you should, you need to learn to listen to your body. I try. You don't to. do that. I don't think you do. I was thinking about that. I think you always try to push every like content or what people are saying, and you're like, yeah, I can do it. And then you just like die somehow. Like your <laughs> neck hurts, your back hurts, your eyes hurt, or your head hurts. <laughs> My eyes are good. Thanks to Felix Gray. FelixGray.com forward slash Nick Urcolano. They don't have a sale going on because they don't do promo codes. But if they did, that would have been a hell of a plug. Yeah. What Anyways. If- yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, uh, it just feels like there's never any time for slowing down, at least not this time of the year. At all. Like, not ever. really. Like, I can't, I don't know. I don't want to miss an opportunity. I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah. You never, know, you never know what the thing is that's going to be the thing, you know? Yeah, I guess. I guess. You know? we, we, Especially when it comes to content, when you're in the content game, it's like you never know what's the thing that's going to be like the random thing that goes. And every, every time you step up to the plate to put out a piece, it could be that thing. That's so funny because you're thinking like that and I'm thinking about your well-being like as a friend. (laughs) Like I'm like, when you're like, you have a headache, I'm like, "Uh, I'm just going to go back home. Sucks. But like, I care about you. So I I appreciate that. (laughs) Yeah. I don't care about myself. Yeah. That's like the biggest, I think (laughs) my biggest concern. Damn. Sometimes I just wake up and I'm like, what if I feel like I'm just going to get to your house and you're going to be dead. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) (laughs) If you showed up to my apartment one day. And what are like the three most likely scenarios of me being dead? Like, okay, I don't even, I don't know if I want to do like the causation of it. You can, you can go any way you want with this causation of it. Or like, where would you find me? Like, how would I be just like up in my bed, like eyes wide open or. Okay. So there's three scenarios that always go through my head. Back balcony. Like we have like a bender and then like, I don't know, maybe you you did something that was uh, enhanced your. Like an OD? Yeah. And then like something, your heart gave out. Everything routes back to your heart gave out. I actually feel like you assume that I'm going to OD, even though I don't really ever do like drugs. No, you don't. But I just assume that someone's not watching you or something and something happened. Like, like, you know, like. I have like a a minor heart condition. It's not minor. 
<laughs> you sound like my it's mom. Major. It's extremely minor. A minor <laughs> heart condition. My dad had a heart, a heart problem, so I needed to, I need to go to the cardiovas, uh, cardio, cardiologist. Now it's biannually. It went down from one year, once a year to once every two years. That's how you yeah, know how fucking minor that no, is. That's, that's called because, a beta. That's because your problem. insurance sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, every, that, that cut it down to once every five years because yeah. the insurance. <laughs> every time I think about you dying, is strictly your heart gives out. Okay, and that's I fair. find you peacefully in your your like bed. Like you're always gonna you're always in your bed dead. And then I'm just like there sobbing, holding your dead corpse. So no matter what, I'm I'm dead in bed. Yeah, dead in really? bed. Damn, I would assume like I was. No, you don't get a cool death. I thought it was going to be in the kitchen, maybe, cooking up. The bacon fucking burn. The bacon. That's how someone <laughs> knows I die, because the fire alarm went off. And they came in, they're like, oh my God, the bacon's overcooked. And that's, then they got it. That's over. my biggest fear. You're just dying. I think I'm good. <laughs> that's what every dead person says. <laughs> 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 you fucking cunt. Wednesday, I went to the, to the shoe store. I'm really itching to get shoes. And I went to like you can't. I I don't, I don't think you can go to finish line anymore. I don't think you can get like you're gonna find a nice pair of shoes anymore there. What are you like, looking for in shoes? Like like Nike Jordans? Because yeah, we, I mean we're like a block away from Soho that has Foot Locker, Kith, like all these places. No, I know, but I there's a a spot in my town, Montclair, and I I was like, you know what? I am in the market. Your boy's spending money, bills, big bills. You know, look at these shoes I have on. Look how dirty they are. And then um, don't look like a big bill spender. I get exactly. So I was like, I need to spend. These looks bills. like that. Look like I pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> type of shoes. <laughs> I pay but the I, bills and power wash. <laughs> sure, power walking. And then I go to the store and I'm like walking around. This guy doesn't have. It's small. It's like smaller than like your living room. Actually, it's probably this size. And then I'm walking and then um, like I'm asking questions. He's like not helping me. They had the shoes I wanted and they were like three hundred twenty five dollars. And I was like willing to pay it, like because that's actually a good what price. Shoes are these? these are the UNC's uh, Jordan ones that I wanted, and they're right on. Yeah, do, do they come with admission to UNC? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get a one year, um, to one go. class. Yeah, one class, <laughs> summer class. That'd be a cool fucking like thing on top of it. Not, I mean, and I, I usually be like on like StockX and everything, they're like four fifty. So I was like, shit, I might buy these, you know, because I wanted to wear them for like my wedding. But like, but you I like, was, pay attention to the shoe market. Yeah, like actively. Oh, like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah or just like shoes that you like. Shoes that I like. Like, I'm not like here. Like, I'll, sometimes I look at shoes to buy so I can like sell them for the pairs I want. How much my Crocs gone up since I got them? Zero. Actually, negative. What the f- Anyways. Figured and like, I would have bought them. I put that them. shit on the vlog I, once. <laughs> I would have bought them. And this guy was my just. Crocs? No, the fucking shoes. <laughs> Saying a story. And then, uh. <laughs> the guy like wasn't helping me and I just got pissed and I was like, you know what? Fuck this guy. I was going to spend money. You're just cleaning shoes over there. You could have made a sale. And I was like, custom service gone downhill. No one cares anymore. Do you do Foot Locker? Do, was it finish line? No, this was just like a, a mom and pop, like really? its own like shop. And I'm yeah. like, you need this. Like yeah. you, like you need, you need, I don't me. need yeah. these shoes. You need this. Yeah. And I was, I was pissed and I was thinking about, it. and then I saw someone in the comments saying to you, like, uh, you animal snacks don't answer uh, YouTube anymore, and then like you guys went off on him a little bit. Like we answer all the time or some shit. And I was like, customer service is pretty important. Is it that important in uh, the content game? Uh, well, there's two different ways to look at it. What you just brought up is not customer service. Engaging with people on social media is not customer service. It is kind of. It's not because of the overwhelm. That would be like a customer service is customer service for our business if they buy a product from us. Okay. Well, he, I, okay. I was saying the shoes, I would have bought it, but his lacking of customer service engagement made me him lose a sale. Sure. So I'm saying like you not engaging as much as you used to, is that losing a subscriber, hence in customer service? Um, Bodied. I mean, that's you're right. <laughs> Oat milk, baby. Good point. I was thinking customer service, like sale to sale. Type no, no, of stuff. I'm thinking like, yeah, I mean, like, listen, it, it, there's nothing I can do. It's not like I'm going to hire someone to make YouTube comments for me or something. No, but, I get it. I'm so just I, asking. No, no, no. I, I know. Yeah. I'm not like, I'm not like going off on you. I'm just like, if you can't understand that, um, that I can't get around, I put a video out like today and I'm sure it's probably, yeah, I'll check. Actually, no, I, I put a video out yesterday. I'll check what that is at. Let me just give like a frame of reference. Okay, so yesterday's video, 148 comments, 
two days, 189, three days, 201 comments. So within three days, that's over 600 to 700 comments yeah. on three videos. I, yeah, I mean, there's Twitter, there's Twitter, whatever, there's emails, there's things like that. And it's just like, I don't let that stuff eat at me if, no. I, don't, if I don't get around to it. I, I, I answer. Do you engage as much as you used to? Like, do you think, or has it gone down a little bit? So I hit a point where I'm like, I can't get, you know, this was like years ago. And I was yeah, like, yeah. I can't get back to everybody's thing. And then I just started commenting on whoever I wanted to's gotcha. comments. Right. And it hit like a level of that. And I don't think I've gone down from okay. that. So I still check the videos every day. I still check comments every day. Um, obviously I get wrapped up in the things where I don't have time to do that, but I don't, I don't think I've gone from like, I used to be checking comments and now I never, you know, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you watch like a big video on YouTube where it's like mm -hmm. millions of views and you're like, you're, you're surprised if you see the original person comment on any of the things, yeah. right? Like I'm not like that. I don't yeah, think, yeah, I, yeah. I think I answer for the most part, but if it's like a redundant ass question or like something I answered or something that kind of like pisses me off, I just like let it go by. Okay. But normally yeah. I think I'm kind yeah, of, yeah, I was just same. asking it kind of correlated to each other. So I was just like, hmm. yeah, on the fade, the public ones, the one that he commented on, I feel like we get around to almost every fucking comment on those. Yeah. You know what I think too? Like Max uses his burner account. So I don't even know it's Max. <laughs> I get confused seeing ones too, because like, our our big dogs team sometimes it's from my account and then s snacks and then there's the fade the public account and Max's account and then Noah and Mike have bunk bed breakdowns but they also have their personal so it's like I, I don't think a lot of people when they see our actual names like no it's actually us commenting back gotcha. sometimes so there's just there's like ten different people that can be commenting from big dogs that you're not sure whether or not it's them you know that's funny what else is going on this week anything how was uh how's the web dev uh, it's good. We they actually we were actually supposed to have a call at eleven today, and uh, and they were like, "Oh, we're running overtime on our other call. Let's do it at one." And I was like, "No, we ever fade the public stream at one. I could do it between two and four, um, but they weren't able to get around to do it. So we didn't have our call today. So I guess I don't know. Maybe we'll kick back off next week. But yeah, I mean, it's going. It's 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 moving for sure. So now you're just straight content right now, right? You're not straight even thinking. Content. Yeah. Like you're just doing. Yeah, I, it actually feels kind of good because I don't really like plug things nowadays, yeah. which is good because I'm, I'm like I'm like in that phase where I obviously want to sell the draft guide, but I don't plug it often in my videos because it's not I don't want to send them to like a page that's not ready and it doesn't feel like a good product yet. Yeah. So as soon as like the actual launch comes with that site, then I'll be off and ripping and like the content will be immersed with more like ads and more of us trying to sell a little bit. But for mm -hmm. right now, yeah, it's just straight up content. So it feels kind of good. That's good. And you want shorter shorter videos yeah i mean we've been, been doing shorter you? for sure i think uh yeah we've seen a lot of like good uh good numbers on the videos right now i have to go back and look at this time last year and then the time before that but i'm pretty sure we're like way past where we were last year in terms of like engagement and growth and stuff and this isn't even like the hot part of the summer yet you know it's funny i why yelling came out sunday i was really pumped because i thought it was a good video and then once i saw julia jones got traded I was like, fuck, we're finished. Oh, I was yeah, like, this video is like two over. I was like, no. That yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing with why you yelling too. It's like, I don't I don't get around to it. Because, I mean, we film it on Friday. You know, we film it like Friday night. Yeah. I have a live stream Saturday. And then like Saturday, I go about my day or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to actually edit why you yelling, like make a thumbnail for it and upload it. Because that takes like hours of its own, right? You know yeah. what I mean? So it's just like, I don't get to put any extra work into this. Uh, which sucks. It's, our, it's like probably our longest piece of content, you know? And it's mm -hmm. just like, I, I can't ask someone to just turn around in like six hours on a Saturday. Yeah, it's crazy. And we can't like, what, me trying to come Wednesday was pushing it because I just saw you Friday. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's tough. It's a tough uh, video to do for you. And then it's tough for me to get here. Like, it's just like a tough thing. But yeah, I enjoy doing it though. It's just, yeah, it's just not, like sit here and chop it up. No, yeah, so I it's think whatever. it's good. It's, it's a good thing to uh, move forward. I was talking to Scott uh, uh, like three days ago, seeing just checking in, seeing like the whole editing things going. Seems like you guys are all on the same page and whatnot. And then we were just like talking freely and whatnot. He just said he loves when you like bring up his like <laughs> text messages because it's like you're just so transparent, you know. And then um, we got on talking about Max, and then I called Max too. I was doing a little HR digging. You were you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, look at you. Yeah, you know. I was uh -huh. and uh, I was talking to Scott and like. He was like, yeah, when I when I talk to Max, he, he seems kind of bummed, you know? And I was like... About what? Can I go? Can oh, I... Can, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> and I was just like, what do you mean? And he's just like, you know, he just seems not like like animal, you know? And I was like, all right, let me like... And then one thing that stuck out to me, what Scott said, that got me like thinking and then me wanting to call Max was uh, like, if animal is an athlete, like an NFL, right? We're just using him in the wrong position. 
and he has so so much potential, but he's just dying in his position. You know that that's what I got out of it. And I was like, okay, let me think about this a little bit. And I was like talking to Max previously, you know how how all in he is and whatnot. And I was like, I could see that. You know, I could see how he's kind of like not pumped to where he was. You know, so I, this was all me in thought. So I called him. I want to say I think I called him Wednesday morning. So I called him. We talked. And I was just like, how you doing? You know, he, everything was fine. He's like, you know, working and then just grinding and whatnot. And then I was like, so, like, how are you? You know, and then a little beating around the bush. And then I blatantly asked him just like, what's up? Are you happy? And then he was just like talking like, and he was just like, you know, Nick's doing his own content. You know, Noah's doing his own content. Mike's doing his own content. It doesn't feel like a community. It feels like everyone's just doing their own thing, which is fine. And he's like, he, he doesn't have much in that. He's like, I love being the animal, but that's not, like, his main thing, you know? And I was like, that's interesting, you know? And I was just talking to him, and I was just like, like, I, we, like, how I think Nick sees it also, it's like, we think you're very into your own, uh, like, channel, you know? Like, uh, Animal's House and Bagels and Locks and Fade the Public. And it's actually not even the fact. I th- he, he even said, uh, like, that's not even what he wants to kind of do, you know? He, you know, he loved Fade the Public. And because that's like has structure, you know, and he's like animal house is kind of dying a little bit because, you know, nothing to snacks. He has a new job. He's busy. Uh, Steve has a job. He's busy. So like they can't really team up how he wants. And like I can't really edit it anymore how he wants. So he's like, it's not real. It was good, but they don't want to do the show sheet. They just want to talk. And that's not what Max wants to do, you know. And I was just like, that's interesting. He's like, you know, now they're in the city and like Tony's in the city and like TJ's here. And he's like, this is what I wanted, but it's not it. It wasn't feasible for him at the point. So I was like, how can we make this work? And uh, I was talking to him a little bit. I was like, you have great opportunity. You know, he's like, he's like, I try to edit. And he's like, he said it was like super frustrating. He tried to do a video and like, like he said it came out like shit. And nothing was queued up, you know, because he's a, what do you call it? Like he's psycho when it comes to like, he wants it to be perfect, which is like a good and bad thing because nothing's going to be perfect. And it frustrates him, you know, like, so he's losing his passion on it a little bit. So I was just like, how about, like, we work on this? You know, he does, like, the TikTok, he's like, I can't do Animal House on TikTok because, you know, now, like, there's too busy. So, like, I can't even chop it up to make it into something like that. So I was like, okay, what, like, two to three months he thinks he's going to be free from, like, financially, like, the bills he's had and everything. And he think like, after that he can move forward. And I was saying, like, like, the poems he does are great. I was like, they're fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, dude, upload those, like, viciously on Twitter. Like, that has to be your thing. And he's agreed. He said he's going to start trying to do that. But he, because he's like lost his passion. He said he used to do animal in, uh, analysis. And he said he used to take him like seconds to do it. Like, he sits there now and takes him hours because like <laughs> he's lost just passion on it, you know? Because yeah. he's like really big on the community and he feels like it's not there right now. Community within BDG. Be, yeah, for him. I, mean, I don't know. I can't. He, he's not. He, he's not speaking for anybody else. Just for him, you know? He said, so I was like, look, like, Fade the Public's always going to be there. But maybe you need to branch out in a sense of, like, get your Twitter game up with the poems. I feel like he, he would see so much, like, fuck, uh, like eyes on that. And I can start bringing him some more, like, additional views on that. And then, like, I was like, once you're free, like, you need to be into this. Like, then once Nick sees that, like, you know, you're in back in the fate of public doing poems, you can start doing, like, this content creating of, like, you know, he has so many skits he wants to do and everything. Once he kind of puts what like his passions not to the side, but aren't that aren't like his true passions. And cause he wants to do the skits. He wants to be here and do things and with you. And then once like the season starts, like you're going to have more time. And like, then he could like start like kind of feeding off you again, you know, starting doing skits with you. Like if he's here and he's willing to do it, then he could stay a couple of days. So I think he kind of liked that idea. I just want to see what, what you thought. Um, okay. A lot, a lot, a lot to unpack there. Yeah. Okay, my initial, I empathize with that, and I completely see that. And most of it revolves around basically the conversation you, me, and TJ had yeah. at the Pineapple Club like two months ago. Yeah. Where I was looking at this place, this apartment. Yeah. And realistically, with Fade the Public, it got to the point where it was like, I felt like I was not doing more than either of them, but like I felt like I kept going out of my way to make sure that it was being pushed forward all the time, you know? And I was like, 
I will always show up for Fade the Public and I will always try to bring my best stuff, but I can't be the conductor of that train and that show. Yeah. And even 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 if we were all working equally as hard, I felt like I always made it kind of clear that I needed them to push me for that show. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And not vice versa. So we talked about it and I was like, I'm no longer going to go out of my way to make sure all that is pushed forward. I'm going to put myself first on it. And we've seen what's happened over the last couple of months yeah. when I wasn't the one making it push forward. Yeah. And I think that's where a lot of it came from. And it was almost like I came to New York and I've always said I was going to stay in New York. I wanted to work out of here. And I think a lot, a little bit of it is animal seeing like the vision that we both had for it. like animal yeah. wants the community within us. And so did I, and I'm finding it a little bit here. Yeah. Just not with him and snacks because they're not here often not saying i don't want it to be with them yeah but they're not here often so when you say like oh is it a good idea for him to come and crash you like that's been well let me cut you off real quick okay. because does uh, that make sense what i'm saying it does but i like um i want i want to dissect it and because i always agree with you on this mm -hmm. but talking to animal i kind of see in a different light of uh like i love snacks but you know snacks has a job he's he has um the, the giants podcast too like he does what he wants and when he can you know yeah but um i think this is me saying it, not an animal. How I kind of see it and feel is he gets lumped with Snacks when, when Snacks isn't, can't be all in because he's doing other things. And there's no fault of Snacks. But I think Animal is ready to just be his own person and take his own accountability in a sense. Okay. And he's willing to do it. And I said like two or three months, like he's willing to, you know, crash and do whatnot. What, what like they talked about. I think it's just been a while where it's just like he gets lumped, you know, like with the Animal's house the public and now he wants to be his own kind of not his own person but like he has his ideas and now he knows what he wants to do and like how he wants to do it and i think um i think it was just like the fact that like oh well if snacks can't do it then we can't do something you know what i mean okay that's fair yeah um yeah i i completely get that i i do feel like and i know i i get like this every time it's like something that's geared towards me yeah it always feels like i need to get defensive about it yeah. but i felt like we've covered this track before and yeah. i've told animal like i would be happy for you to stay here yeah and we could work on things together this was a conversation we had in new york no i get other it. new york yeah. in this in this apartment as well too and i'm open to that i'm completely open to it no i think um, he's too i just think it's just like he, he he needs to get his personal life in like grass which he is he's grinding to get it there and i think like you said like two to three months he should be like free of those ch shackles essentially and i think you will start seeing it um I mean, it's not wrong though with the community part because it's not like i don't make content with no anymore yeah and since scott doesn't edit fade the public it's not like i'm constantly you know in talks with him and he's putting out content yeah. based around us anymore so i get it um like, it no means he was, like, bitching or nothing. No, no, it didn't just, sound like it. I, 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 don't want, I don't want it to yeah, come off. I'm like, like I'm, I, I, like, fish for this, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, yeah, I know that, yeah. I know that. And, we, I mean, listen, you and me have had conversations about the yeah. position that, that I'm in and that he's in and, and whatever's going on between everybody. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's difficult. It's like, when you're in the content game, it's, it's like, you do kind of have to make it for yourself. Yeah. And I think that's why I kind of made the Fade the Public channel or i didn't make it but that's why that, that's an opportunity for him if he wants to make like his own individual stuff like obviously he's more than welcome to do that and that's what noah makes his own individual yeah, stuff i don't think that's what he wants to do though i don't think he's like you know animal's house like he had a vision for it and it's not panning out in a sense of like because of time yeah but he's not trying to be his own content creator i think he's trying to be his own content creator for you in a sense like Let's start doing these skits. Let's start doing these like commercials. Yeah. Because he has so many ideas. Like yeah. I don't think he. I don't. I think also. I think the channel he because he's like, essentially like the fate of public channel, really didn't make sense to him because like, you guys upload FTP to you and then I guess upload it again to FTP YouTube. You know. And then like he's like, I, we don't need that. You know. It's just you know. And like you said, you don't want it to be saturated on your channel. But I think he just wants to make like. Like skits, sketches, and he has ideas. Okay. Plus, fade the public. So, so is he saying like Nick's the fade the public YouTube channel? I don't know. He didn't talk to snacks about that or anything. He didn't really. This is me. What I, I'm interpreting what he said. Like it's just like that's not what he's here for. He's not trying to be like a guy with like a hundred thousand followers because of his channel. Yeah, yeah. He I wants a hundred thousand because of your channel because he's part of the community. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's where, 
I was like, okay, I get that because how we looked at it, it was like, you're trying to get yours on your channel doing these small little things. But in reality, it's like, yeah, I was doing this because I thought this is the route Nick wanted us to go, but it's not really what I want to do. But I feel like, yeah, I get that. I do feel like a bit of it is also because it's not working out now. Yeah. Like he didn't really voice those concerns, I feel like, to me. Like when he started Animal's House, like that's all he wanted to do. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, I, I mean like he was really excited about it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but he got excited, but then like... When things what? don't pan out, then you start looking a different way. Yeah, I, get I get that it. too. Like, but I'm, I think it's also in a sense of like he... It, like the vision was there, but like the people he picked don't have the time. So yeah. like... It, and that sucks. You know, like it, and like you said, it didn't work out to me. That's why he's pivoting. But I think also like inside of him, like he's thought that community was going to happen. So like everyone's going to just have that time yeah. and it just didn't work out. So I think now he's just like, like and this is what I, and this is what I was saying for everybody. This was not just towards an animal thing. I was yeah. like, when I move here, I'm going to be focused on myself. And if we're going to be part of the push, if ever, if you want to join in on what we're doing, you've got to make yourself a yeah. part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And like, at some point I do need to be a, like a dictator and stop being like, you know, Oh, I need to look out for, nine people at 100% because that leaves me with 10% for myself, you know? Yeah. And I needed to switch gears for a little no, bit. No, I think that's okay. And I think what you're doing is fine. I just think in like two or three months, I think... My, my, question, my question is like, in a practical sense, what's the next logistical step for an issue like this? I don't think... Uh, you know what? I don't like, what think, can I do? No, I don't I do? think it's anything you can do. This okay. is on animal. Okay. Because I don't think... There's nothing like you need to change. You're doing... Because like you said, you're doing your content. Um... I mean, the community, the only thing you could probably do is the community part. Like, is anybody else feeling like this? Like saying like, are we just making content just to make content? Or is it still like, feel like BDG community? That's the only thing I think you need to fair. start so. looking at just because I don't know if that's a problem or not. Everything else is on animal in a sense that, like you said, I said, you have I, two, I told I would love to make more content together. It's just like, When we're together, yeah, we it it feels like community content, yeah. But it's like if I were gonna be like, let's do community content again, and then be like, let's all get on a Zoom call, then it feels forced again, even if it is more community. No, focused, exactly. You know what I mean? And I, and I agree with that. But I think when it comes to animal, there's a two to three month timeline where you put your money where your mouth is. But I think also if he does come and show up and he wants to do skits, he wants to do that. I, I'm always he, here for it. I'm exactly. You, that, like yeah. I, you just need to be full front also. And like if he's like, like if he's like this day I'm crashing, let's do this. We we all got to do a push, you know, because that's what it is. That's fair. I'll p I will push for him. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> I think I think you're right. Maybe it, uh, some of it does have to, because like the conversation we had about Fade the Public, like you were there on yeah, the couch yeah, and we yeah, talked yeah. about it. And we're like, if we just have a little bit more organization, if you show up with the skits, we we know yeah. in a week in advance that if we're taking the six hours before we film to yeah. do this commercial, we'll do it. And then literally nothing happened. After no, that. I get that. You know what I mean? And I just think. And I think, yeah, I think part of it is probably because like Animal feels like if we don't get everybody behind it we can't do any of it and yeah, yeah I, okay like i'm i'm there yeah. to do it if we if yeah. we are if, and if i, I think it. animal just wants to be like himself you know like he just wants to be like all right i'm coming we're doing this it doesn't he, he i feel like animal's the only person that gets tied with one show and gets tied with another person you know he doesn't get to just be like all right animal what do you like you don't know what has bunk yeah, bed you want to jump in here yeah you, you know like here. he gets you. lumped like with things and I don't think that's fair and I think I even did it because I was like oh it was on your side but I was just saying like I th I think Animal was about to show up and I like this is me thinking like I don't and I think he's almost there and he's just figuring it out but I think when he does like he doesn't need to be lumped with the snacks or he doesn't need to be lumped with Faith the Public let's just see what he got because he knows what he yeah. wants to do and In I think eyes, I never yeah. I never felt like I was lumping him mm -hmm. together with him I just felt like the only time they showed up was together yeah and I think now Max is now has to pivot and be willing to be like, all right, maybe it's not Fade Public, but we're going to start uh, doing skits or like I have this vision. Let's get Tony. Yeah, TJ like, might have to be an actor, you know, like shit like that. Here to do so that's sure. what I'm saying. So I think I think it, a lot of it just comes down to the fact that he, he doesn't like the city and doesn't want to come in here. Yeah, and I think like I, I said, was saying, like listen, yeah. I'm going to push myself forward. If y'all want to be a part of it, no, you have sure. to push forward. And as I think well. he's almost there. I think yeah. like I said, personal shit that he just has to get through for a little bit, and after that, I think he's going to be there. And I think we had a good talk. We talked for like a talked for like a half hour and like it was it was a good talk like i haven't talked to him in fucking light years yeah but it was good okay what's well, good i'm glad you brought that to the, the attention i'm assuming yeah. you were just waiting for the show to do to bring that up
Yeah, I mean, I really didn't have much else. I've just been working like a dog. Yeah, I uh, actually texted. We got back on. Did I tell you I got kicked off the community platform, the text platform? Why? So I sent like, uh, when I do my underdog drafts, yeah. I need to fill them up because they're only within people that I send the link to. So I send, I text them out and I was like, yo, I'm going to start a best ball draft because they fill up very quickly. Like yeah. Within like five seconds, you don't join, you're, you're, you're done, right? We got the clout game fucking everywhere. I send it, I want, I'm like letting people know. I'm like, I'm going to send out a text message in 10 minutes. So I said, keep, keep your fingers itchy. Like you got fucking poison ivy. And I sent it out and they were like, this is a warning. You are promoting something uh, violent or whatever in the text. And they were referring to the word poison. So I said, keep your itch, it, it fingers itch. It's got an algorithm that picks up words okay. like that or some shit. So that was literally what it was. So within the next, uh, the next like 24 hours, I got a text saying that the mobile service providers are not allowing you to send text messages through that because you're deemed as like a threat or some shit. shit. Yeah. So I just like, so I was off the platform for like a week or whatever. And, uh, I hit up the HR people or I hit up the, I don't know, some rep at community and I was like, yo, like what, what's going on? There's like, there's nothing else you can do right now. It's with the. It's with the text message service provider. It's literally with like Verizon, T-Mobile, like them. What the fuck? And they have to decide whether or not I can get back on. And I got a text yesterday or two days ago saying, uh, saying, okay, like you're good to go. Like don't do it again, obviously. And they were also like, you can't promote gambling on here either. So I can't link to underdog, I don't think anymore. Jesus. Yeah. So it was not a, it was a, it was a, it was an issue, but. When first, I thought I was out. <laughs> the, first, the first text message I said was like, I was like, we're bike. Give us uh, some Q and A for, for, uh. Why are you yelling? We finally remember because we've talked about oh, nice. for forever. Wait, oh, so you ready to do that? <laughs> yeah. Do I, have we, to, I didn't like look at the questions though. Oh, so we're going to do this right now? Do you want to? Fuck it. We uh, got Yeah, we got some time. <laughs> a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people were like, uh, a lot of people were like, a lot of people were sending fantasy questions. I could imagine. Yeah. They don't and know I was like, why yelling is. Yeah, I was, it was like, tell me you don't watch why you yell yeah. without telling me you don't watch why you yell. <laughs> First question from Mark. Uh, where are we going for Steve's bachelor party? Great question. I have a lot of things I need to figure out. I'm going to need to like sit down on YouTube and Google for like a 10 hour period and just Google bachelor party things. Just don't fail me. I won't fail you. <laughs> Here, don't forget. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's going to be very much like my content where it's like, there's a lot of loose ends and strings unattached. Like the, the thumbnail is going to be messy. The title might not have been actually changed from whatever the file on your computer was. You know, I don't know how we're going to get there. Yeah. I don't know. We, we might miss like lunch or dinner a couple of the nights that we're there, but the content's going to be fire. Sounds like every single vacation we've ever had. We so, don't eat. We don't sleep. Like I said, it's a lifestyle <laughs> brand. Our content <laughs> segues into things that we do. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, don't worry. I won't fail you. I won't fail you. At the end of the day, it's going to be good content. Where are we going to go? So I'm thinking of a few things. Mostly the first big question is like international versus domestic. Yeah. I would be totally down for international. And this is not me taking it off the board at all. It's just money. No, I don't give oh. a fuck about it. You think the guy gave a fuck Not about you, it. but like there's other people. No, no, no. Uh, that is definitely a consideration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more so like planning things international because yeah. I don't know what all the COVID restrictions are. And By that point, I think everything... How long's a bachelor party you last for? <laughs> like, I don't know, two days? Two days? Three days? Fuck that, no. We're doing like <laughs> minimum four. Four, <laughs> Dude, four or five nights. Heather's about to have a fucking heart attack watching this. Bitch. We're going, <laughs> you know what I want. We're going for two weeks. All right, so we're going to go for two weeks. Okay. And the thing is like having to plan all things for those... That, don't forget you have a you're gonna have a an army with you of yeah that i have to plan no, for of groomsmen that can help you you think these motherfuckers are gonna help me alex the lasagna king like he'll be like let's go to italy for good lasagna yeah that's and I'm true. Like, off the table no one else is gonna help me with shit but if we do it like domestically it's really easy to figure shit out because yeah. once you're there you're like yo can underdog man, sponsor us for our, my bachelor party honestly Honestly, maybe. <laughs> like, I want to do what uh, Johnny it, Drama. Are you supposed to like know about it? Nothing. You're not supposed to know anything. I oh, so I gotta so. stop talking about it with you. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. So I've got I've got a few plans. I've got a few. I would love not to know anything. So okay. therefore, like, not even like. Just, <sighs> no, I need no date and a time because I'm gonna have to take off. I know, like date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know the date and because I probably miss my. But I would like to not tell you the location, even though that's like impossible to hide from you. Once we get to, I guess, at the airport, you could figure it out. Yeah, you maybe we just, just blindfold you and put noise canceling headphones in for the whole trip. <laughs> the whole trip. <laughs> Where were we? I have Five no idea. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. I hear or see anything? That'd be actually lit. That'd be fun. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's gonna be a, a question that you're gonna have to ask me on non why yelling. 
That's why we do these things. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions about nudes. Like us? Yeah, like why am I not getting any nudes? Um, Henry, when did you decide you wanted to become a YouTube a YouTube slash fantasy personnel? I guess you mean person. Steve, I'll let you take this one. Um, One time in fourth grade, <laughs> I found out. I don't know, honestly. One time he drafted Jamal Charles at a very young age. He knew he was destined for greatness. He's still in the league? Nah. I'm joking. he had been out for, like, I don't know if I could take that <laughs> as a joke. Uh, when did you decide you wanted to become a YouTube slash fantasy person? I would say those are two different things. I think I I watched vlogs, like, fucking bike bike in the day. Maybe, uh, I think the first vlogs I watched were these dudes. They're pretty popular. So if you, if you ever watch like fitness YouTubers, uh, Christian Guzman and You're like big on that max tuning, they were like the first vloggers I ever watched. And I was like, yo, this is like really cool. This was before like vlogging got big. And I was like the whole following the life of yeah. what you're doing is really fucking cool. And it's crazy because the way I got interested in them, I think was probably through some instructional like fitness videos, yeah. like good form on bench, but you know, some shit like that. And I kind of liken myself to the same path where I'm just like, you come here for one instructional thing and then it takes you to a whole different like path, you know, like a whole different like life that you kind of open your eyes to. And I think then I didn't see that and was like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. But I was like, oh, I think I could do that kind of well. Like this would be fun to do. And then fantasy was just like a natural progression for me. We started, I started playing when I was much younger. Um, I, I won the, our home league like a bunch of times in the beginning, thought I was good. So I was like, I could gen, genuinely help people do this. It was wrong. Such, it was so, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong, wrong on two accounts. So like the fact that I thought I was going to help people and it, it, it's the way I looked at it back then was so the intent was so fucking pure. Yeah. It's so fucking funny <laughs> thinking back on how I started blogging, didn't like blogging, started doing videos or whatever. And uh, it was around one summer where I was like, I'm just going to take this seriously because I saw good growth the summer before on YouTube where I didn't even take it seriously. And I was like, if I do, I imagine things will take off pretty quickly. And that one summer where we went from like 500 subs to 5,000 subs, I was like, yo, this is this. I don't want to say like this is my ticket out, but I was like, there's something serious here. You know, if I just keep taking it seriously, we'll grow and grow and grow. And once you have an audience, like you can kind of do whatever the fuck you want. So I would say, I would say the, the one summer of like, premature growth maybe it was like the second or third summer doing things was definitely where i imagined myself doing this i also remember i found your youtube channel like you didn't tell me you were doing it yet you said you like you might start doing something you know, like i didn't get it and the beginning stages are very blurry for you were me. so like scared to say tell people and then i watched your first video of you like reviewing jeans and you're just like no i did fantasy i, I did fantasy videos first yeah but then i saw no i'm saying a vlog part uh, like you're like yeah really wait yeah. by that point you didn't know about it i, I feel like there's no way i i didn't know what you were doing i think like okay. you were like i'm do i'm gonna put fantasy football videos out i'm like okay and then like i don't know why i'm like okay. like you're like reviewing jeans i was like wait what <laughs> and then you're like um yeah these hudson jeans it's really funny um, at the beginning they're pretty of um you know um yeah. was, my like is your um yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it was it was pretty fun <laughs> Yeah, it's so funny looking yeah. back at the content I put out when it, yeah. it would be like one Trash. day. It's like running back rankings. The next video would be like how to make a spinach shake. The next <laughs> video would be like Hold running juice? on the treadmill. Yeah, it yeah. was so random and hey, so weird. But that was that was like here. really what I was got about at the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was it was kind of all over the place. Okay, this is another kind of wedding related question. Best man in a wedding coming up. Got any speech tips? Panicking or is it simple? Uh, I haven't really thought about the speech that I would be writing for you. Honestly, I had, I don't think we're if you're about to say go from the heart, I think it's a terrible idea. No, no, no. Okay. So that the engagement, uh, dinner rehearsal at, for my sister, she got married. No, uh, November, 2019, I think. And at, the, they're like speech time. And then like, everyone's like, Steve, you gotta go up. Steve, you gotta go up. And I was like, shit, like what? I gotta go up. Cause like her, his dad went and like her, his brother went. It's like, see, you have to show up for the thought virages. I was like, bet. <laughs> and I went up and said a joke first. One good like joke. Like, you know, how's everybody doing today? Some shit. And you know, that's how I started. And that then was your joke. No, I think I said like suck a titty or something. And then, um, <laughs> I'm going to start. I went my speech out. Of I, yours with that. I started with, uh, the store. I lied kind of, but I was like how, the first time I met Luke and oh, I remember you telling me about this. Then yeah. transitioning to like, this is how I knew he loved her. And like people were crying. I got a huge, 
huge like clap and I was like I done killed it so I think you need to start with a story and it's okay to lie because no one really remembers so like lie about like oh and then they locked eyes and then I knew he she was for him you know some some bullshit like that yeah I think yeah get the laughter just to tears to laughter yeah I mean I guess it depends too like how uh I guess if you're the best man you know them really well but how many good stories that you could objectively tell I think like a couple good jokes a couple good stories is really all you need to do. Best man obviously involved the um, the the newlywed on the other side of things. The you have to, yeah, yeah. Make sure they're both in it. Yeah, you I gonna mean, make me cry? You think? Depends how much effort I put into it. Wow, I might just go. I might just make like an eight second speech. <laughs> do, do one of your How's everybody doing shit. today? <laughs> everybody doing today? All right, enjoy your night. Enjoy your night. And sit my ass down. I think. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna practice it a lot. To That's be honest. Right. They want to make it good. But yeah, I, I would say think of two stories, think of two jokes, and then also have something to reel it in all together. Reel it in. Yeah. And then have something that has both of them in it as well. Let's see. Are your socks absolutely disgusting right now? No, they're not bad. They're, they're fair. Good. They look pretty fair skinned. Um, Josh said, favorite memory together. Oh, boy. Oh. <sighs> I feel like, honestly, this was so long ago, but the trips down to Lavalette were, like, all time for us. They were. There's got to be stuff after that, of course. I think the Australia trip. The Australia trip was out of control. Out of control. Like, I cut out the one. You know you that poop story you told on Why You Yelling? Yeah. I, I cut that out. That was the only thing I cut out, I've cut. i ever cut out of Why You Yelling, I think. That's good. It was like, it, I listened to it back. It was eight minutes of, <laughs> of you rambling, <laughs> saying like, and it was it was an absurd, absurd story. Man, I should try again now because I'm, I'm refreshed. You want to tell the poop story? Not right now. You literally just said, why don't we try right now? No, I said I should try it again, like at some point. Okay. You could try, I think you could try the poop Australia. Our, yeah, Australia our, was great. I think our, the funny story is like, we got hammered. And it would, like we had surfing the next day, and then you showed like you had the video of me flamethrowing with Rastafarians, that was insane. and then like we had no toothpaste, and you're like <laughs> wiping it, like we had no toothbrushes, and we, we had slept, to go. We slept feet to head <laughs> in a twin size bed for eight days. Was it? Really, did we do that the I was whole time? For, the whole. Time. I only have a memory. I think I honestly think I my my brain like blocked out the memories of you coming that trip. The last night we. I only remember doing that. We once. didn't even have bed sheets <laughs> because That's you a, left them in the dryer. Well, my brain only has like us sleeping without bed sheets. No blankets. No bed sheets. <laughs> just on like a twin size uncomfortable bed. Just like my yeah. feet down by your head and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. The Australia trip was out of control. No, we had some. Good memories. I, like it, nah, that's such disagree. a. It's like a hard thing to think about, right? That now. is, but I feel like there's just so many ridiculous things. It's it's about the little things, though. To be it honest, is. It's about we try to get. We were hammered, and we went to a tattoo shop in Australia. And we were like, we want Australia on our arm with New Jersey inside of it. And the guy's like, mate, no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Thank God. Um. Curious, uh, this would actually be a good one if I have my statistics up. Curious of the subscriber demographics for big dogs. Do you have that data? Do you want to concentrate on focusing on catering to the major demographic or try to attract others? I try to get more women to do fantasy football. Kanye Ron, I knew you're up to no good. That last part of the sentence asking for women. Uh, do I know the demographics? So I don't know off the top of my head, but I could look at the YouTube analytics. I'm pretty sure if I had to guess, it would be. Um, not eighty five percent white males in America from ages sixteen to thirty, or sixteen to thirty five, and then there's probably white males in America <laughs> ages thirty to forty. I would say that's it. I would say women make up sub one percent of the big dogs audience. Looking at fifty thousand people, I would say there's probably like two hundred women in the audience. Actually, maybe not true. Every time I say that, I feel like there's like a decent amount of girls that comment on the post, but like, is that when you have a shirt off? They're like. Come home with me. <laughs> That's most of the guys. Oh, we're <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one more. Yeah, Julian. Julianne is Julian, actually. Oh wow. Yeah. Why don't you ask me a question? Over under 0. 0.5 number of full time jobs you have at Big Dogs in five years. Over. One point five. Over. Three point five. And what are the titles? I think 3.5 would be a fair. You think you're going to have four job, full-time jobs here? No, under, uh, I think three full-time jobs here. Changing my diaper. <laughs> I'm going to need one. I feel like I'm going to be like your fucking assistant. <laughs> and then I'll, I'm, I'm going to have to just be the HR here. 
and You're just 100% like percent gonna need to be the HR soon. Yeah, and then just like operationally, like if we need to, we start like doing our own merch, like that shit, or like I don't know. You need think to I'll ever get, get canceled? Uh, I I don't think so. I I, I don't. Can't, getting canceled is a choice. Yeah, I don't think. And, then, and, I, choose, <laughs> and I choose no. <laughs> I think you won't get canceled. But I could see you one day just being like, fuck all this and just shutting it down. And then. And I don't then, think I'll shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. John Tafford's going to shut this episode down. Shut it down. Shut it down. It's, it's, it's Sunday. I mean, yeah. Just fucking shut it down Sunday. A better day. Stop. Whatever you're about to say. <laughs> Are we on the air? Why does everything hurt? Power washing, bro. Uh, you want to see? I took a picture. Uh, what, like the end result of it? Yeah. Not really. It's very satisfying. Yeah. It's satisfying for like the first. So you know, I have like four blocks of cement in my backyard. Yeah. The first one, I'm like, I got this. I'm like this. Wait, shit. What do you power wash? Like everything? The backyard. Just the backyard. It's like back. You're just like power washing dirt. Yeah. So much dirt. Like the actual dirt. No, I have cement everywhere. But it's satisfying for the first like hour, and then it's like the first hour. I would have said like first like ten minutes. No, first hour it's good. You listen to music and you just see like how your, big your is accomplishment. The, how big is the thing? It's a hose, like it's a gun. Yeah, but I'm saying like that's what I'm fucking asking. Like how big? First you said hose, then you said gun. The gun's like this. Is it heavy? No. Yeah. Does it get heavy after an hour? No. Oh uh, yeah. It Hand starts to hurt. It's tingly. It's good practice for your forearms. I can dominate you. <sighs> Get fucked. You almost had me there too in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, gave it I gotta all. tell you, I no stamina left, <laughs> dude. My back, like, because you just hunch over for four hours. I could imagine, yeah, that would fuck me up. My yeah. neck would. <laughs> I think I'd be paralyzed. Hit it. <laughs>